Blue for thrower to the left side wall. Benoit back to the blue line. Furlan. He'll rip it around to the Warrior far right corner. 30 seconds to go in this Warner Diesel penalty kill. Furlan right circle to thrower scores. Well, on the ice beating Pollock. And it's now a 4-0 lead for the visitors. Thrower with a good wrist shot there beats Pollock. Low blocker side. Not sure if he was screened or if that got tipped, but not one that generally beats Justin. I think it was the quick release by Thrower that just kind of caught Pollock off guard as he was going across ice and just moved a little bit too far and Thrower hit the far post. Maybe a little bit of a screen there as we look. Two, two warrior bodies in different depths. Still a nice shot by Dalton Thrower. It's a power play goal for Saskatoon now leading 4-0. Frustrating night for the Warriors for point. And then rubbed up by Thrower as he dumps it in. Should that not have been interference? <laughs> Here's the Warriors down low. Fear ready. But now we've got Bell and Thrower dropping the gloves. This may be a response to the point fight. Thrower for the Blades, Bell for the Warriors. Bell going in first, working some lefts and missing. Thrower yet to throw a punch. Bell working left jabs. Here goes Thrower with a nice right hand. Bell then switches left, pops the helmet off the thrower. Now they're tossing him. Both guys landing shots. They're in tight, looking for room for throwing some more. Bell and Thrower holding on to one another. Thrower missing, but now hits a nice right hand on the top of Bell. Hits another right. Bell misses with a left hand. And now in their headlock, a nice job. Bell kind of gives a slap to Thrower, saying, good job, good fight. Took them a little while to get going. When they did, there's a little flurry of about three, four each, both guys tossing them. Well, I knew Dalton Thrower's a tough guy. I haven't seen Bell fight too much, but he did a real good job switching from right hand to left. Land a couple good shots on Thrower, but Thrower doesn't back down. He gets up and throws a couple late ones at the end. The physical side of Tyler Bell is, I think, something that a lot of people are going to want to see. He's got big size. This Bell. Well, I think this is 6'2", 205. I think it's a real good thing for Bell. We haven't seen a lot of this from him, but he's going to be one of those guys to be relied on in the next year or so to stick up for his teammates. Real good job going with a tough customer. And they, I think it starts because of the hit thrower had on point, which I think is pretty close to interference. It's the chip by point in, and then he's Saturday, thrower takes away the progress of point by knocking him down. That Bell, you have to stand up for 